We really wanted guys, n number one, that were competitive, that were naturally competitive, that really were in love with the game. Um, the, the game really meant something to them. So you didn't have to call the guy and say, are you in the gym? Are you working on this? Are you, you have to pull these guys off the gym. Um, they, they love being in the gym. On a given night, you know, when we've got it going, these guys are, they're, they're capable of scoring 100 points. You, you have such a wide variety of talent and skill. On a given night, your seventh man off the bench could be your leading scorer. We want to play as fast as, as our talent will take us. And I'm going to keep pounding on it. And I've actually seen times in practice where um, probably the average coach would be okay with things slowing down. And, and I'm, I got my foot on the gas saying faster, faster, faster. Um, we, we want to put our kids in position to get cheap baskets um, with, with defenses that are struggling to get back. Our staff did an amazing job, along with our returning players um, combined, did an amazing job in um, making our recruits feel um, at home, feel welcome, feel wanted, and helping them to understand their fit um, here at UOP in Stockton um, and in the West Coast Conference. Cultures are in locker rooms, cultures are behaviors when authority figures are not around. So how do you, how do you act, who are you really when um, there's, there's no supervision? And it's been really neat watching them um, develop into these roles and understand the things that they will fight for and tolerate as a team and the things that they will not tolerate as a team. That's culture.